Aloha. Welcome to Hawaii's Best, where we help prepare you for your visit to Hawaii. Here, you'll learn what to know before traveling as we discover Hawaiian culture, local businesses, and the experiences that make Hawaii one of the most incredible places in the world. Aloha and welcome to another episode of Hawaii's Best. I'm your host, Brian Murphy, and welcome to a special Aloha Friday episode. Today, I am joined with our unofficial cultural practitioner, Kahanui Solitorio. How is it going, man? How is Oahu? Oahu is great. Um, long time no see and chat, but... I know. Yeah, things are starting to open up a little bit more, a lot more, actually. Right. Seeing more tourists come back and more, you know, families that had to move away. They get to come back and visit their home and their families. So, yeah, all is good here. I think a lot of people didn't maybe think about that or don't realize that, you know, if someone's planning a trip to Hawaii, you don't realize that, yeah, there's there's families that live in Hawaii and they haven't been able to see their relatives or loved ones in quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. So then you have a, I mean, every plane that I took coming back from either California or Vegas, it was all full. Um, you can see that was a good majority of tourists, a good majority of locals that moved away and then people coming back from vacation. But right. yeah, it's, it's good to see. I mean, we've definitely had two years of rejuvenation of the of the land and of the oceans without that impact of tourism but yeah i think it's good to see waikiki alive again and see tourists mm. here um a lot of them are being more responsible when they come to hawaii because they're pretty much people are calling tourists out on social media and everything yeah Right. And, and hopefully this is a resource for someone who's planning a trip can take into account some of the things just to be aware of traveling into a culture and kind of what to do, what not to do. But what about you? You know, things are opening up and you're seeing a lot of more visitors and Waikiki is back to normal ish. How is that playing and gigging around the different spots? Have you been able to do that again? Yeah, um, we went back to we play at Olani, me and my bandmate Nick. Um, Nicholas Lum every Wednesday. So we were there since November of last year, oh. um, which is pretty good. I mean, it's been very good. We're still waiting for Japan to open up. So once that opens up, we'll probably see it back to normal, like pre-pandemic. But yeah, I think it's cool to see. And then even us, we're getting more gigs, more great gig inquiries, all that good stuff. So that's yeah, been good. Good. Well, it's good to connect again and, and see you. And, totally. But today we're talking about May Day, which is Lay Day in Hawaii. And that's happening. If you're listening to this, it's uh, today is the 29th of April and Sunday is May 1st, Lay Day. Yeah. What is Lay Day all about? Why is it celebrated? Maybe a little history behind behind the day. Just starting us off, the first May Day, our uh, Lay Day was held in 1928, Le has been very synonymous with Hawaii and Hawaiian culture. Back in the boat days, people would sell leis at the harbors to the tourists that would come in. I'm sure at that time it was like 10 cents or something. But every time someone thinks about Hawaii, they think about le, whether it be kukui nut le or a fresh flower le or the fake you know, plastic flower lay that <laughs> people like to wear with their grass skirts. It's a part of our culture and it's a part of our islands. Um, but for me, like, yeah, there's a touristy side to it, but it also shows our connection to the land. It shows our aloha aina, our love for the land, because we use the resources that are given to us to create adornments that we love to wear and we love to show off. So, yeah, I think Lay Day is all about that, celebrating our aina, celebrating our... Mm -hmm our fresh flowers, our resources that were given because of this land. And what are some ways and how it's celebrated? Yeah, so... Um, Obviously the making and giving of legs, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it's funny because as much as people want to wear lace every day, they're pretty expensive. Um, you know, they're pretty pricey. Um, so on this day, everyone you know, where's their best mu'u mu their best aloha wear. They either make their own lei to wear or they give a lei, they buy a lei, the very best leis. And then other ways that we celebrate it, a lot of schools, they actually have May Day celebrations, whether it's actually on May Day, on May 1st, or around that week or whatnot. 
So a lot of celebrations of Hawaiian music, of storytelling, hula, of course. That's all big components of Lele in our Hawaiian culture. And you see it like every school on that day, they're all having celebrations. You know, parents come to, to watch their kids perform, get the shot of their child dancing hula for their first time, probably. Yeah. yeah. And then there's a lot of, you know, other concerts around the islands that celebrate May Day. Just Hawaiian music, good food, hula, all that jazz. So across the islands, are there unique celebrations that the outer islands kind of celebrate in their own unique way, or is it pretty much cohesive? Yeah, it's pretty cohesive. I know um, every year they usually have lay contests on every island, or at least the main four islands, Oahu, Kauai, Maui, and then one in Hilo, one in Kona. But they have lay contests. So the one in Oahu is usually held at the Kapi'olani Bandstand. Um, and it's a good way for if tourists, you know, they want to come and look at beautiful lay, they can go stop by. I think it's, it's a free event. And then we can just come and, of course, music and hula. And also for Oahu specifically, I'm not sure about the other islands, but they have a lay day court. Um, there's always going to be a lay day queen and then two, I guess, ladies in waiting that they're the court for that year. And this is held in February, the the selection. For that day, the the honorary lady court for Hawaii. So yeah, I think it starts in the morning at nine, but it goes all the way till like five five thirty. Okay, people have lay demonstrations. They have, of course, the lay contests. There's a few different styles of lay that people use. The first one is haku hakule, which a lot of people are getting confused with. They think that the hakule is the one they wear on the like head, a crown. Yeah, crown. Yeah. Um, but that's that would be called a lei po'o. Lei and then po'o is the head. So the hakule is something that they weave together and they braid in all the different materials that they, you know, they want to create. Haku means to create or to make. So, And I think it's kind of without saying this year is probably a little bit more special because there's a lot more in-person celebration this yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. And I think uh, the past year, two years, we had to do a lot of virtual concerts and virtual hula. But now everything's opening up a little bit more. So I know three main big concerts that are going on this year. Um, one is with Kalani Pea, and that's going to be at the Hawaii Theater. He just won his third Grammy for his uh, right. his third yeah. album. Yeah, So another awesome night of hula and music. One is with Halawika VQ at the Waikiki Show, their annual hula concert performance. So a lot, and again, a lot of hula and music. And then the one that we're putting on with my band, Keo Ho, uh, my other two bandmates, Zachary and Nicholas Lam, we're putting that with Kahuli Leolea at the Bishop Museum. It's not an in-person event. There's going to be like a small audience, but if you want to tune in, you can watch it on KGMB. If you're in Hawaii, Channel 7, or we're going to stream it online on all the platforms, you know, Facebook and stuff. So I think that's going to be great. We have a lot of local Hawaiian artists, Kainani Kaunaele, Kamalei Kava'a, Manu Boyd, and then, of course, Robert Casimero, who's been very, you know, when you think about May Day, you think about his concert with the Brothers Casimero mm. um, that was went on for 25 plus years um, at the right. Waikiki Shell. So, the shell, right? Yeah. yeah um, we have... Halau's coming in, but the theme of this year, we're honoring water. We're honoring the importance of water. Ola Ikavai, water gives life to everyone, yeah? We're just coming off of the Red Hill water crisis that was going on. Right. So we really want to um, pay homage to Vai, pay um, respects and honor our water sources that we have, fresh water sources. So, yeah. Love that. And your band has been involved in uh, celebration for Quite a few years, yeah. Yeah, so this is our fourth year putting on a May Day celebration. The first year was in person, right before pandemic. That was a big one at the convention center. Then we had our second and third years were on uh, virtual. So we had a TV performance and online and stuff. And then this one, we're both in person and live stream on TV and the internet. So awesome. yeah, it's, it's kind of cool to be back in person but also share our concert with the world pretty much. Yeah. 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 So if you're, you know, in Hawaii, if you're 
on the continent or in another country even, please tune in. You can find it on our website or our Facebook, Keoho Band. And also you can go to Hawaii News now and tune in there. But hopefully you guys can all celebrate Mayday with us from your own home. Okay, awesome. We will definitely link all that in the show notes. You can also go to really any one of our Instagram pages and easily find the links to be able to view. If you're not on island right now, if you are on island, definitely consider some of these uh, celebrations over, you know, over this weekend. Kanui, before we say goodbye, anything else you'd love to share? Yeah. Um, how about one of the songs that are, you know, famous from... Oh, come on. Mayday. I mean, gotta. Yeah, yeah. you gotta okay. do it. <laughs> so if you know it, just sing along. Just, and maybe dance. Dance if you want to. Okay. Mayday is lay day in Hawaii. Garlands of flowers everywhere. All of the colors in the rainbow. Maidens with blossoms in their hair. Flowers that mean we should be happy, throwing a side of load of care. Oh, May Day is Lay Day in Hawaii. May Day is happy days out there. Happy May Day, everyone. Aloha. for listening to this episode of Hawaii's Best. If you are enjoying the podcast, please take a moment to leave a review on Apple and a rating on Spotify. To stay up to date on future episodes, please subscribe and visit us at hawaiisbesttravel.com. Until next time, ahui ho.